Today we're fishing out of the port of Miliwake, which is Algonquin for the good land. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy. And if you don't know what that's from, kids, watch Wayne's World. It's fun. Uh, anyway, Noah and I are out of Milwaukee, as I said, in waves that are quite a bit larger than the less than one foot they were calling for, but uh, we're going to make do with that. We have a two-man spread, that's three rods a piece, six rods. So we're running two downrigger rods two dipsy diver rods, and then a 10 color lead core and a copper 150 foot, I believe. So that's what we've got out. A mix of flasher fly and spoon baits. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see if we can catch some salmons here. All right guys, so it is a little rollier out here today than we thought it would be, but that's not gonna stop us. We marked a bunch of fish out here and it's, since it's just two of us, we're running a six line spread today. So on our planer boards, we're rocking a 150 copper with a, I think it's a Hulk spoon on there. Uh, we got a 10 color with the carbon 14. We've got a downrigger with uh, I don't remember what spoon that is. It's, it's Snow White. It's a Pro King Magnum Snow White. And then on the other downrigger, we're going to rock this uh, UV Green Chin Music. I didn't come up with the name, guys, but that's what it's called. Uh, salmon Candy Flasher with a... Uh, I suck at the fly names, guys. I'm sorry. But this is a Salmon Candy... I think it's a green willy. I think that's what it is, green willy. So we're gonna let this down on our downrigger. Then we're also gonna do a couple flasher flies on our dipsies. And that is probably gonna be the spread we're gonna fish the majority of the day here with. Most of these fish we're marking are pretty deep. They're anywhere from 60 to 90 feet down. So there's a good chance that our board rods are not gonna get hit, but you never know. There could be some high flyers and generally high flyers are fish that are gonna eat. So that is the game plan here. We're gonna let this guy back oh about 30 feet or so and then uh, we'll clip it onto our downrigger send it down this guy we're probably going to run pretty close to the bottom we'll probably put our downrigger out to about 100 feet or so we're in about 115 feet right now and that is going to be our starting lineup here hopefully get ourselves some salmon here this afternoon that's kind of what we're looking for right there that's fish 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 and that's all bait those are probably all alewives hanging out down by the bottom there just making a turn, we're gonna spin around, go a different direction. We've kind of been running south to north. Now we're gonna run north to south. And sometimes that makes a difference. Just a little change in direction based on the current and things that we can't see down there can make a big difference. So we're gonna spin around here and see if we get some bites going the other way. Well, we've been doing a thing called uh, washing lures, I believe. I don't like this. No, we've had one hit. We got checked by a warden though, so that was fun. That was pretty interesting. He just kind of pulled up alongside of us, uh, asked us to hold up our throwable, our life jackets. We had our, luckily, uh, we had our paper copies, which you need to have on most border waters. And, pretty uh, much any federally navigable body of water, so Mississippi, Great Lakes, yep. places like that. So it, it was kind of cool. He just, he didn't board the boat. Uh, let us keep fishing, didn't have to pull our rods in, uh, used his binoculars to check out our licenses. Uh, so yeah, if you're going to come out and do this sort of thing, any federally navigable water, you need to have your paper copy, not just, uh, you know, on your phone or, uh, I know a lot of times they can scan your driver's license, but that wasn't an option out here. So have your paper copy with you. All right. That's the tip of the day. We've got Pro some tip. bait. We've got some bait coming up on the uh, locator, not that that's mattered in the last two and a half hours. No. Uh, but uh, we'll see. We'll try to catch one here yet. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> I should have known. I sort of knew. Okay, let's catch one. I don't like it either. Uh, yeah, 
I just, I don't. I, oh, pop, 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 right there, right there, right there. Get him, get him, get him, get him. All yours. Hey, we got a fish. Look at that. So I'm gonna kill the clicker, guys. Normally, I don't like to do that when I'm salmon fishing. This thing's gonna get in our other lines, I bet. Okay. This might be a king. Yeah, it's staying down. It's on the rod. It didn't want to catch a king on too. Oh but boy. I, line out here. I may have to help. We'll be back. That's a king. It's gotta be. Is it taking line? Yeah, dude. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> What do you want to do? Remote, somewhere up there. Oh, no, right. Turn that way. Yeah. Do you uh, want me to clear any lines? I have no idea what line we're in. Yeah, clear this dipsy. Okay. Okay. I think we got it. Okay, we're gonna have to get weird on this one, Brian. Oh no. Oh no, he's in the burger cable. We're gonna freaking lose this thing. Or I'm gonna snap everything off. We're gonna hand line it. Ready? Get him. That's a big one. You got it? <laughs> We're good. Just get him in. <laughs> well, that's a big one. Yeah, it is. I don't know how it got in that and wrapped around it. Yeah. But, okay, we're going to bring this to the, in the boat. <laughs> so that's a really big one. That's well over 20. Wow. That was, that shouldn't have happened. Dude, that was a mess. Got him. High five. Big kings in a small boat gets a little weird, guys, but... I'll take it, we're going way too slow. So I'm gonna speed us up a little bit and we'll figure this guy out. All right guys, well, that is our first fish of the day. And that was on a, just a white glow flasher, little boy blue fly. And that was on a downrigger 80 feet down, about 120 feet of water. That is for sure over a 20 pound king. Absolutely awesome, sweet man. It only took us all day, but if we're gonna get a couple bites, I'll uh, I'll take this as one of our couple bites. So, sweet fish. We're gonna bleed them out, get them in the box, and get reset. Hopefully, this is the start of something cool. Oh, we're on. Dude. We're on. We're on. All right, take it. Got it. It worked. So we were just about to switch this spoon out. And what we do instead of just popping it and reeling it in is we let the spoon come up. And sometimes as that spoon's rising in the water column, it'll get hit. Nothing big, but I don't oh, care. It's not I a bad it's fish. Good. It's not a bad fish. Laker vibes, maybe? Oh, maybe. All right, he's right here. Is it really? I think it is. Ready? Is it really? That's a brown trout. That's wild. <laughs> That's like an eight pounder. 
Yeah, that's a brown trout. What's a brown trout doing? What's down. yeah? What's he doing out here? That's Dude, wild. That's wild. <laughs> We're just about to switch the spoon out too. Like, brown trout. That's awesome. I caught a fish. Let's take a look at it. All right, here. players. Let's. Uh, Come on, bud. Oh, jeez. I've done this before, I swear. There we go. All right. Let's take a look at him. Wow, he is not happy about this, but tough crap, buddy. Cool little fish. Kind of fun. All right, well, we I got... Wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's little, but it's little compared to Yeah, yeah, it's a little compared to the other one we got, so... That's an awesome fish, uh, dude. Yeah, we're getting hits. We better get this one in the box and uh, get uh, get this bait back out. Heck yeah. Butters. Is that a fish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Yep. Yep, he's there. Just put that glow spoon down, guys. It's, it hasn't been down for not even five minutes. This is not a big fish <laughs> at all. If I had to guess, maybe a little acre, like a really little acre, but we already got two in the box. We'll see. If it's a legit shaker, then we may shake it, but it is not a big fish. But you might have noticed the rod didn't actually go off in the downrigger. It didn't actually pop. Yeah, it's super tiny. Um, instead, the rod did that. See how the rod tip was shaking there? Kind of just boom, 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 boom. If you see that, it's usually a fish. So grab it. And it'll even be a big fish sometimes. So if you see the rod shake in the rod holder on your downrigger, give her a shot. Little king. Actually, you know what? Most people would shake that. I'm eating it today. Let's eat it. That's going to be the tastiest fish we catch all day probably. So... All right, right brand, just a little bit on the small side. And I'll show you the spoon we're running here. Um, I believe this is the blue, I don't think this is blue night. Ah, I can't remember what this one's called, but it's another moonshine lure spoon, kind of a glow with some blue in it. Awesome color on Lake Michigan. Can't go wrong with a glow and blue. So, all right, enough messing around with this. I want to get this line back down and get a big one. Well, folks, try as we may, we could not get another fish to go uh, past dark here. And uh, it's getting a little windy out, which is not the best thing when you're seven, eight miles offshore. In so, an 18 foot boat. In, yeah, in an 18 foot boat. So uh, we are going to wrap it up here and get off the water before it gets dicey. We've got a west wind, that's the direction we have to go, so it shouldn't be too bad, but uh, we just need to play it safe. Whenever you're on big water, especially when it gets dark out, don't take any chances, guys. Um, if I remember, I will try to leave a link for a couple of the websites I use to check wave heights and marine forecasts and all that stuff. Make sure you do that before you come out in a small boat like this. All right, a big king in the boat, a nice brown, and then a small king. Uh, check out Noah's channel, Madison Angling. He guides in Madison as well. Doesn't do this stuff. I don't guiding. do this. He doesn't do this. But other species in Madison, you can check him out for that. I will leave his stuff in the description below as well. So. Before we die here, <laughs> we're going to wrap it up. Thanks everyone for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you and I will see you on the next video.